Yo, what's good guys? Kip here, back again once again for the first time in a while actually with part 7 of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke last time out. What we did is went south from Eternal City, went into Orberg, got another token because the uh, static spawns were not randomized, which I have the answer to why that's not working. Made our way through um, one of the routes, can't remember what one it is, and we are almost at, at our home city, so let's go ahead and enter. But before we do, I know the reason why the statics weren't working, so my file of platinum that I put for the randomizer tool, for some reason there was no compatibility with uh, changing up the static mod, which is why it's not working. It's to do with the version of the randomizer tool that I have, because I use a different, more up-to-date version of it, and it works completely fine on, a, on another test file, so for this playthrough, no, none of the static accounts are going to work, sadly. So, uh, yeah, um, it is what it is. I'll just use those tokens from now on, which, talking of statics, we're going to get one today, so I'll show you when we get to it, okay? And talking off static, Strip Loon tomorrow, it's Friday tomorrow, I can go ahead and get and catch that and then get another uh, static uh, token as well. So we'll just treat, we'll just play through all the static mods and encounters going forward. But nonetheless, team last time, as you see, same as it was, honestly. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, get on going, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to use the Rio Lu yet, and I don't want to use the Eevee yet until maybe a little later when we might lose a member or two, because I think we're doing okay so far, although that Teddy Rosa probably needs to get replaced at some point, so yeah. Ah, uh, here we go! Oh, thank goodness you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneri could have run. Baby Baneri, back to the Pokeball you go. I'm Kiara, a Pokemon contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Alright, so basically we just got through so we can actually advance in the story. It's nothing actually too actually like, you know, influential in another plot, let's say. Also, something I was going to talk about while I'm just going ahead and, uh, you know, entering the city, get a couple things is the reason there was a lack of uploads for the last 10 or so days is last weekend, because I'm recording this on the 22nd of August, which is the first day, and I had a Splatoon 3 Salmon Run Golden uh, Wildcard event that literally kept busy all Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a bit of Monday, and I've had a couple of and real life stuff is keeping busy Tuesday, Wednesday, and a little bit of Thursday. So uh, it's not that you know I'm not enjoying it. It's not that like I don't want to do YouTube. It's just that I was busy. We're back to uploading now, and we'll be good to go. And I was glad to put up the wall, didn't it? Okay, and with that sorted back up in the wall, as you can see now, uh, let's continue on. But yeah, as I was saying there, basically TLDR, I was busy with stuff I had to take care of, and now um, I'm back to uploading this again. So hopefully, we'll get back to uploading this at least three times a week as I was before. So. Anyway, let's get on with one with the episode, shall we? First of all, by going into this house, because one of the static mods in Platinum, not even in Pearl, but Platinum only, is you get Eevee here. So, blah, 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 blah. Can't do anything about it because my Pokemon boxes are empty. Let me go and make space. All right, so we got the Eevee, which we are not going to nickname just simply because it's only a token. Uh, we'll actually nickname the proper mod for that once we go ahead and find an area we want to use the token up in. Like I said, I can use that at any point in the game I want, guys, so... I'll decide when, but I think for, for the next little while we're gonna be okay because simply because um it's like well yeah um not really struggling too much right now. Alright, contest hall, let's go. This is where we're told to come. Hello, Kiara. And our mother's also here. Oh my hero. Oh hi cube. Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom, so you may be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Cube about contests. I suppose you two know each other though. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take the success away. Blah 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 blah. We're not gonna be doing this in a nose lock. Okay, I'm just gonna skip over this. Cause we get the tuxedo, which is used for our contest, but we really don't need to talk about any of this because we've got no influence in us like whatsoever. I do need to talk to you though. Uh yes, I beg your pardon. A oh, wee contest you're here for. I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Farhome, is also a contestant. She's how do you say? I'm not even going to pronounce that because I'll butcher it. If Antina be myself, of course. Let me see, yours seem to be very strong. So it shall be a way for you at the gym. Okay, so... Um, okay guys, so it appears the reason why they are blocking off um, this is you actually have to beat the ghost gym before being able to progress, even though I remember playing with Platinum so many times that you can do Heart of City either third or fifth. Maybe that's a Diamond and Pearl thing, not Platinum, but I remember like literally doing this gym fifth so many times in this game, so... I guess it is what it is. We have to do the heart of the gym, so let's just go. All right, let's start with the gym then. Let's go. See what we got. We're not going to obviously be facing every optional trainer in here, only with our levels are honestly pretty fine as they are, so 
Yeah, um, so the clue over there, I can see it without even going through, it's a square and it is the middle tailwind pick. I'm trying not to like, let that guy in the right hit me is the only thing, so I'm trying to be careful about this. We go around him, if he's play. yeah, see how when I went close to him, he's moving close at me, he's doing it deliberately so well. He's being really annoying to try and navigate around, now he's blocking off my only entry point. I'm just gonna take a chance, okay, we're through. Alright, square, so cool. And then the next one is wherever the blue tile is on the floor, which I don't know where it is, honestly. I can't actually tell where that is. Blue tile, blue tile, where do you be? I think that's it there. I'm looking for a sun icon. Okay. Funny enough, that is actually the one right there. That's actually very lucky. And we're right to the gym leader. All right, cool. That didn't take long. All right, Fantina. Let's go. After the, doing this gym, we should unlock great balls, by the way, which I, ironically, would be really good for our upcoming encounter, so... Not bad that would have call it um that we've had to be forced to do with third rather than fifth, like you normally would, if you had the option to do that, but because like in the badge case, Hawk Pantina is actually under the fifth gym leader, not the third, but yeah. Is there any further ado, Fantina? Let's get it. Oh ho ho, finally you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I tried to learn the new things. They will contest in the city, I say to myself, I will excel. This is the way I dress this way. I also I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be the gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. I shall win. That is what a gym leader does. Well, not that lucky, obviously. Alright, Fantino, what do you have for me today? Three months. Okay, standard. Uh, we have a Flappy. Electric type. I've got Fire Dark out here. This is neutral. We should be okay here. Well, it doesn't get anything too scary in Gen 4. I've used that a lot in Heart Gold Soul Silver. I know that for a fact, so. I'm actually... Hmm, how do I want to play this? I could go for Ember or I could Hyrule and go for Bite. Um, I'm just going to do one Hyrule and just see what he goes for. Come on, Fantina, what you got? What you got? T-Wave. Fair, honestly. That was one of the moves I expected Flav to use, the other being Thundershot. Uh, as long as no power... Yeah, there's the other move. I told you, told you T-Wave and Thundershot. Yeah, didn't do too much. Bite, plus one attack. Stab. Not an cool, but pretty good. I'm liking that. Give a bullshit outside. I hear you to feel obvious. Well, not even feel. Wow. Okay. A crit will just literally. Okay. Um. Honestly, I think you might use another potion here because the gym fights. I'm going to use hell here. No. I thought Pantina usually uses two potions in the fight. All right. Yeah. Plus two. Plus two attack up. Nice. And then just go for bite again. Honestly. Only thing I've got to watch for is become paralyzed. I will be slower. So. Got to walk, got to play around the crypt, and that kind of stuff happening as well, so... Uh, I think I'm okay. I can still, I can survive a crit here. Could do anyway. Okay, that comes off, nice. And boom, depending on why it's next or why the swap out, I was putting something else. Else, rather. Level 28 on Casper, nice. Total dial. Um, honestly, it wouldn't be too bad against this, but let's just give Grover a little bit of screen action. It should for no reason die here. Total dial does not get Ice Fang yet. I think that line, I... I know for a fact for Alligator gets it near when it evolves, but I think when it evolves it gets Ice Fang, but I think the only other way for it to get it earlier is by Egg Move, maybe? Don't quote me on that though. Leaf Blade, faster, this thing should get all cold, especially with the, um, the Miracle Seed I've got on this. No, the Metal Plate, that's right. But now it goes down, no problem. And what else do we have? Tangrove, Grass type. See, that would have been great if, uh, you know, that was second for Hound Doom, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to... Wait, why? If I say that, maybe that's a grass type. It's just because it's got flame pro doesn't mean that's a safe pet. I am pretty confident I can survive one hit regardless from this thing. So I will go for a flame pro. I don't think I'm going to take it out because it's fully evolved. I'm pretty confident I can survive one hit. You do it under half at least. Yeah, there we go. Or just all court. Yeah, Marina, you're actually insane. Well, that not be a nice stab move, but it's actually insane. All right, we take that. Boom. Nice. And Fatina's a feed, which means it's the relic badge. Boom. I know it's out of order, but this game does it out of order, so it is what it is, you know. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. All right. Now, right after this, we'll be checking the Pokemon. Hopefully, we can get Great Balls, because that might allow us to get some pseudo legendaries if we run into them. Cough, cough, build them. It was fun fact, I didn't know this, but my friend of mine told me that uh, Beldum is the hardest little legendary to capture, it, uh, to capture capture rate wise, because apparently the rest of the uh, 
So you don't have nearly as hard of a capture as Berlin does. For some reason, it's only specifically that one. It's really hard. But it's what it is. What's the TM again? 65. And what is that? Hey, yo. Um. Lucario says hi to that TM. If he can learn it. If he can learn the original TM, this is randomizing too. If he. If, if Lucario can get Brick Break, that is ridiculous. The reason for that is, like, Monster lets you reflect and Light Screen. Brick Break can actually basically destroy Light Screen and reflect, so it won't, they won't, like, there are, like, more tanky stats that won't exist. That is an incredible thing I have in the back for later on, especially, like, for the League and that stuff and, like, the later parts of this game. We take that all day. Hey, there we go. All right. Give me twin. Actually, I'm going to buy 20 even two sets of 10 so I get two Premier Balls. Oh, you don't get Premier Balls for Great Balls in this generation. It must just only be Pokeballs. In a new generation, no matter what you buy a 10 off, you'll get like Premier Balls and that stuff, you know? So, we go through here. And there's DJ. Da-da! Kept me waiting again, Cube. Let's see how much stuff you and I have gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trader now. You expect to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Okay, and I did have him carrying his team throughout the game, so I need to remind- I know he's got the tail lobe, I can't remember what else his second one was. So he does leave with a swear I had a feeling he might, which is why I don't want to leave with Grover, but I couldn't remember 100% if he did or not. Okay, that's fine. Flying type up. Um, let's just go into, uh, maybe not. We're gonna contact one of these, no problem. Ba 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 da ba doom, ba boom, wing attack. You better pee that out, no problem. I thought that was a crit. So that means we can survive another crit unless it's literally highest roll crit possible. Uh, I'm very confident we can uh, survive one of those, so... Focus energy, so it's going to go for another crit on me, okay? Aurora Beam. We can one-shot, this would be fantastic, but I don't know if we will. I think it might have five in the red. Oh, okay, straight KO, beautiful. Nice job, maybe not. What do we have next? Clothing, clothing, all right. Uh, poison type, weak to ground type, is levitate. What else is poison weak to all than ground type again? I actually don't know if that is weak to anything other than ground. I can't think off the top of my head what it's weak to. Yeah, I think it's neutral to everything else but ground. I'm pretty certain on that, actually. Uh... Coughing won't be able to one-shot me from this range. There's no shot it gets like a level. I'll, I'll move at this level. It doesn't have like, you know, Final shock or anything like that. Let's just go. Oh, side beam, of course. That's the other move that I was thinking of. All right, go. I was gonna say, yeah. Even though Tilly's sl slow coughing, pretty slow as well. Even especially uninvolved. So I'd be fast. I'd take out one shot. But there we go. And what else do we have? I can bite. Okay, okay. Um, dragon ground. All right, I do have a mon. I can take this out. This is gonna be a problem. Because remember, I've got the rival keep his team throughout the game, so we're gonna have to face a guard chomp later on consistently. So we really need a nice we really need Marina not to die because it's the only thing in our team with a nice light move, which is gonna get ground, I believe, I think, and definitely dragon. So we'll use a stupid potion on Marina. And as long as he isn't coming out with anything super crazy like Dragon Rush uh at this point in the game already, then we're fine. Sandstorm, yeah we're chilling. Well accuracy wise maybe not, but I think we should be able to hit the problem. That's the wrong button. Uh, right or wrong room. It's four it's, I think it's 14 right? the Dragon Rage. Now that is a scary move. And the mid game, yes. And the mid game, that is scary. If we hadn't missed that right there, that we would have been put in a very scary situation. She was one shot and it's four times a week. And it's a crit. Beautiful, Marina. Beautiful. You're genuinely the MVP of this playthrough so far, I can't lie. And what is last mon? Mischievous. Oh, that's a bad team he's got, by the way. So he's gonna have what a swallow, a guard chomp, a Miss Magius. And I can't remember the other one that I already took out. Literally can't remember it off the top of my head. What oh, Totodile, wasn't it? Oh no, that was Jim. I can't remember what the other one was. Other one was, but like, yeah, he's got a decent team kicking up. I can't lie. So a mischievous ghost, weak to dark. All right, go. Cool. Alexa can come in and uh, do the deeds, I think. Alright, come on. 
Let's see for a bite. Drop one down, at least maybe even one hurt. Beautiful. And that is another important fight over and done with. I'm going to show my surefire with any strategy doesn't work. Stay here, Kieran. What I told you before, make sure all your attacks set avoid any, every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work for beans. You have to grind it out and toughen up to him a better time. Anyway, come up to Slacy in town. See ya. You'll be shot by my group the next time we meet. Yeah, probably having a guard on. Which will be kind of scary, I can't lie. I hope the feeling that by that point, that Dragon Rage move is gone, by the way, but we'll see, you know. Alright, so we can now officially enter Route 209, guys, and that does, of course, mean we are going to be a, a new encounter. We have Great Balls. Honestly, give me a pseudo legend at this point. Give me like a Beldum. Give me a Salamence, something like that. And we're going to an evolution early on that. Give me a Star, because I'm pretty sure I can take it now. There is an item up here. Okay, regular encounter. Could be a legend now, as we know in the past. It is... that is interesting, because this thing will have Shadow Tag on it. And probably Destiny Beyond as well. Let's just TB it. That is move, it means it can't do double damage back with Miracle Counter. Yep, see, 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 see. Okay, so they went for special. Uh, let's just, just check a Great Ball at Fuel Hell and just see what we're working with. Honestly, not a great thing that we got. This is our encounter, but it's what it is. One, two, three. Nope, okay, fair enough. If you know, you know. It treats trying to, like, take him down. Paralyzed. See, it's hard because, like, what do I go for that would damage it a lot? That very tricky situation is very very tricky. I'm just gonna go for quick attack. Yeah, this could be a big misplay. I've only seen Mericot, I've not seen Counter. So it's got Safeguard, Destiny Bond, Mericot, and something else, but we don't know what that is yet. We don't know what the fourth move is. does have counter. I just saw it go for counter. Okay, that's why I didn't want to hit it. This could be very tricky, guys. I can't lie. Got it. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> right, in other words, because it's not like I can just run from this thing. This thing does, got, does have a shadow tag, which means I cannot run or switch, I believe. I don't know about switching, but I know I definitely cannot run, I think. I might have got the other, the other way about it. I'm not sure. Wobbuffet nickname. What do we want to go with? Um, Male Wobbuffet. Uh... Honestly, I don't know. Um, screw it. I can't remember who it was at Team Rocket, but I think it was James had the Wobbuffet, effect, right? So we're just going to name it that because, um, you know. Or Team Rocket, it's male, you know. I really have no other name for it, so sure. Yeah, though, there was an item up here. What could we have gotten? Talking of using Ampharos, right? I would have taken that in a heartbeat. And, okay, not in Gen 4. We would have taken that to Emerald Gen 4. Gen 6, when it's favorite type, I would have taken that. What's the name, anyway? Oh, no. Anyway. Okay, I guess it comes to the point where we're just going to start knocking out these trainers then, and if anything actually threatening happens, I will show you, okay? So I will be back soon. Clipper. All right, let's go with Leaf Blade. Bye bye. Butterfree. Ember. Bye bye. Magnezone. Ember. Supersonic. Ember. I said Ember. Oh, okay, we gotta be careful. That's Sonic then. That's twelve. Yep, good my HP. Okay, this is actually kind of important. So let's just let's just heal. Let us just heal. T wave. All right, go. Uh, we're gonna swap into Gex. Gex and save effect, yeah. T Shock, yeah. And then we're gonna go with Leaf Blade. Alright, cool. That's out here now, finally. And then for it, uh, fighting move we don't have on us currently. Let's just go with Marina and Bubble Beam. And. Uh, bye bye. Alright, so we got another battle coming up here, so let's just go ahead and see what we got in the front. Uh, Gex and Alexa. Um, actually, uh, let's give Casper a little bit of screen time. Let's go with Casper and Alexa, because Casper is quite defensive and that stuff, you know, so let's go see what they got, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, I've an ALA kit. Okay, yeah, we can do with that. I think. Uh, so we'll probably use Nightshade on the... No, he's not what the more flying, isn't he? He's a Nightshade on the ALA kid. And we'll go Ember on the ALA kid as well. And uh, Shockwave? Okay, that's fine, I think. Let's go for Pursuit and Farfetch'd, and then we'll go with Ember and Farfetch'd. Okay, let's just swap out Casper here uh, to Marina, and then we'll Ember and Farfetch'd, yeah. Alright, boom, nice. They both bet in Cursa, okay. Yeah, I'm alright. Alright, head down here, which is item that's over here then. Mail powder, wait, what's mail powder? The steel type moves or something like that. What even is that? Oh, okay. The little specific item. Huh. I have seen that item before, but I've not seen it in a long time, basically. She's got a Feraligator. All right, Leaf Blade is. Nice. Then she's got a Skun Tank. Poison, poison, poison. Yeah, we can use Scythe for that. That's no problem. Oh, it's the other way about poison. Oh, because it's part of Dark. No, I always make the Dark part. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go with Bubble Beam. I think it's more spin, we should be okay so Yep, nice. Next then is Trico, so we go to Relix and use Ember. Nice. And then Umbreon, Dark type, Dark type, Dark type. Uh, Marina will use Bubble Beam, I think. I'll use Pack a while. Ah, that's fine. Easy as that, nice. And this item is. I can't even draw. Doesn't that feel like Slow Burn or Slow King? Which obviously I've gotten possibly even though until I find a slow bro and I want a slow wow. Well, a slow poke and I want a slow king and just literally level up with King Drop. Boom, there you go. Now there is a bonus item you can get here. That's another item off the pop over here. Someone down over there with that rocket, cause I know uh you need surf to get it, but the item I'm more talking about is over to the left of us here. Yeah, let's see if I can remember how to do this. We need the bike for this officer, so not we need the other gear change. Almost. And boom boom. Ooh, almost, almost. Look we'll at this. Yeah, there we go. And it's my focus band. Alright. Not bad. Is that the one that I think it is, by the way? Yeah, it's kinda like the focus uh the focus sash in a way. I don't know why you'd have the focus band and focus sash, like, you know, both like doing the same thing. Really weird. Um, because I thought I always get confused the focus band is not quite the choice band. That's a completely different item. Okay, uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll face these two the trainers before moving forward. She's got a blast though, that's perfect for me. He played. Oh, he survived it. As I already said, just take a Ferrari guy, I can take a blast voice. And I got another double battle, which I gotta be careful about, obviously. So, I am going to heal up. Yeah, Casper. And then I'm gonna get Casper and Alexa to do the double battle again. Yeah, I think that's okay. Rhydon and Vrigoroth. Okay, we might have to be a little bit careful about this. I think we could use Nightshade on the Rhydon. I don't really think Vrigoroth is doing too much to me as a bike type, because I'm obviously ghost type. Can't really touch me. Uh, Marino will come in though. Focus Energy Storm. Okay, Nightshade goes off. Cool. I think we could also maybe confuse Shui the Vrigoroth while we bubble beam into the Rhydon, because part is round of um, Steel Pit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nice kill. Lovely. That is okay. Um, we're obviously on to Encore, but we can use Side Beam on that Vine type and that should just kill it, right? Not quite. That's fine, though. Yeah, there you go. Nice. We do have an area to the right, however. I'm going to go ahead and just simply um, heal up the Salacian time first, but there's an item there. And this new tower location is actually a new encounter area, so we can go ahead and, like, you know, basically get another encounter there. Also, don't worry, we do see the rival again, but it's not quite a fight. Yahoo! Hey Cube, I got something cool, I'll show you the special favor. Ah, uh, what the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Alright, because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool, you have to check out. We even found a head of machine, it was Defog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya. Okay then. Alright, let's head south then, right to our nine, and let's go to the tower, because this is another encounter area. We've looked in the top left around about now. Huh. 
Okay, well, it's not counting it, but I promise you this is a new encounter area. Do I have it on the map, maybe? I can't remember what this is called, but this is a new encounter area, I think. Abra. All right, I'll catch this. I'll try and capture this anyway. And if it is not a new encounter area, we'll just dispose of it. I am 99% sure it's a new encounter area though. So let's just go with the great ball because it's going to teleport regardless. You know, because it's Abra. So we're going to have to catch the first go here. So let's see. Nope, probably teleport, right? Yeah, all right. So we lose our encounter here anyway. All right, as what it is. I swear that normally comes up as another flag entirely though. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that was usually in the county area. And you see where in county is. Which is... I do not mind that at all. I had a very decent pickup for an aerodactyl. Okay, we will take that. T-Wave, yep, comes off. Good. Can move. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll go with... Quick attack, how much that doing? Not a lot. Pursuit, shouldn't kill it. Yeah, kill. Cool. Couple more pursuits. Gotta watch. Okay, so it's got a bite on it. Um, let's just go into... I think I'm going to the collector. Um, let's go for smog. I don't think nothing to it. Okay, uh, let's just start chucking great balls, I think, at this point. I think that would be the best thing. One, two, three. Your ball. Again, I'm bad with nicknames. Literally, first male name that came to my head, I'm just going to go with, alright, which is Ryan. I don't know why that name randomly popped to my head, I just did. So we're going to go right in the Aerodactyl, alright? I don't really know um, like any references to like an Aerodactyl in the anime of that, so, which is why I've not really used like, a name for that. I thought I would do 10 account, account R, and there is one more we can get. Talking about the rival talked about Defog, we can not get an encounter inside Selassie on Ruins. Let's go do that real quick. Our encounter for Selassie on Ruins is... I do not mind that. Ponyta I will take, definitely. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's just go quick for Wonder Wave. I know we're weak to it, but we should be able to be okay with the wave Yeah, I knew you'd be able to survive one. Now let's go and talk to Hillary. We can tank this. Uh, we can't really weaken it as the only thing, so let's just throw a great ball see how we're doing in this area. One, two, three. Alright, sure. You know what, we'll take it. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, but you know what? I'm down with that. Male Ponyta. Male Ponyta. Look, really, first thing that came to my head, I'm going to name it Adam, man. You know, Adamant, as in the Adamant from Pokemon Legends Arceus, just because obviously in that game you get a quest to get a free shiny ponyta. And while we're in here, guys, we might as well battle with a call a few guys here. And, uh, you know, because the reason is, uh, we can get the head move for default and quite a lot of items in here. So if anything interesting shows up, I'll let you know. Wismer Leaf Blade? Yep. Bastiodon. Uh, Marina. Bubble Beam. Nice. There right, two dark ride. Do I have this? You know what? Yeah, we'll keep it in. Bubble beam. That was a great disable in his behalf. I can't lie. That was kind of good. I have no sense. Okay, it's gonna go for Dream Eater here then, obviously. Um, so we need to swap here. Um, let's go into. Uh, it's kind of tough actually. Uh, let's go into Alexa. Not very effective as I thought. I'm gonna go for bite. Oh, yeah, it's dark time, not go through what am I thinking of? Ember. Uh, we'll use one super potion. We need to get potions after this after this area, by the way. Ember. Try to crack your stuff. Good stuff, Alexa. Now, once to learn beat up, huh? The user gets all the potty Pokemon type the bowl. The more potty Pokemon, the more damage. So essentially, it's a 60 base power move, from what I understand. And I'll always have a full potty. But bite's also 60 base, and it can make the target flinch. So, honestly, I'll just keep bite then. I keep thinking bite's only 40 base power, like in the new generations, but it's not. Alright, nothing useful for Head Nightmare. Let's see what we got. So, one of these is guaranteed to be default, which is this one. Yep. Nope. And here, three are randomized. 
a yellow scarf. Okay, not really too much for us there. We could add an Arcanine. Forty times kill now, but Arcanine would have been absolute fire. No pun intended. Smooth rock. Okay, I did not just like you know like. Oh, what's that? Yeah, science bomb. I knew it was one of them because we got the heat rock and we got the other rock early in the game too. And this is the berry. All right. Oh no. Anyway, let's get here. And that's going to conclude it for part seven of our Pokemon Plant and Randomizer and Nuzlocke. Next episode, we're going to progress through Route 210, taking quite a few trainers, but with how, like, you know, I'm not showing all the trainers. If we get time, it might be a bit of a longer episode due to this, but if we get time, based on how I'm feeling during next, next episode's recording, I will go ahead, do the whole Route 210 stuff, get up to Veilstone City, and also take on the Veilstone uh, City Gym Leader as well, explore the department store, get the static and uh, get Mon from Veilstone as well, so... Be sure to subscribe to the channel for that if you're excited. But yeah, and the latest is the cube. Saying it, have a good one, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.